Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And so far we have been doing all these Incredibles tutorials. So, so far we've done Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, Violet, and now we are going to do Dash from the Incredibles. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna draw Dash all together, like his whole entire body, because he's pretty simple and he's running. So let's go ahead and start laying out where his body is gonna go. So we'll start with his head and we're gonna go ahead and make it that three quarter turn. Then at the bottom of his head right here, you're gonna go ahead and bring down his neck. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring down his chest. That's gonna go out just a little bit and then round it back up. curve upwards and then back into his neck. So this is his overall body and we're gonna put him in this running position. After that, let's go ahead and give him his back arm. You're gonna go up. I'm gonna bring it down. Bring down this part. And I'm gonna go ahead and round off his fist. And then I'm gonna go down here, bring this down so I'm gonna make a circle here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this part of his arm, and then his glove and his upper arm of his body is turned in towards him, and he has a fist right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay and draw out that fist. Then this leg should be going down outwards. So I'm gonna go up, back into his body, and this should go right into here. And then this one is going to go out, back in. And then this part is going to go down. Back up. And then this part is gonna go out. And we're gonna get to his foot over here. And we're gonna go up, down, and back into his ankle. Okay, so this is the overall position of Dash running. So this one, we're seeing more of this, and then this one will have to be shaded a little bit more because we're not seeing as much as this side because it's on the other side of his body, and this is the body we can see. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to his face. Let's go ahead and define his face a little bit more. So this is an extreme quarter turn. We're gonna go ahead and give that eye line and then where his nose line is gonna go. So his eyes, we're gonna start with this one over here. Round, typical eye, big round eye. And then jump over here. Round off this side, bring this side down and then round this back up. So we have our eyes. Then what I'd like to do is go ahead and give him where his nose is gonna go, and his nose is gonna go off over here. So it's a little bit of a bigger nose cut, sort of like Violet's. And then he's got his black mask on, like all the other family members have. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up this nose ridge this way. Then he's got this funny little smirk going on, where we're just gonna go directly below his nose, very similar to his dad. And it's just a good little solid line we have one dimple here and another dimple here and then we've got this chin going so let's go ahead and we're gonna draw one pupil here like he's looking at you as he's running away and another pupil right here after that let's go ahead and get some shine over here we have a shine here and then a shine right here and then we'll go ahead and give him his pupil and his iris area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down his eye mask, go up, cover it this way, go down, and then curve it back into his nose. Bring up this mask, bring it down, 
round it off this way, and then back, and then his mask is going to go up. So this comes to more of an immediate corner and then goes upwards. Make this a little bit more, go off to the side and just define this a little bit more. There we go. So for his nose, what we're going to do is we're going to do very similar to what we did for Violet, where we go up with just a little bit. It's rounded at the top. We have a lot of shading going on down here, so we go curve his nostril here and curve his nostril right here and then bring this down over here and we would essentially go ahead and shade this in. After that we're gonna go ahead and shape up his face just a little bit more, bring out his cheek and we're gonna go ahead and mark off where his chin's gonna go. And then we're gonna keep all of this down here because it is his neck. He has a very large head and a very large neck. The neck, he barely has a neck. That's what's going on. And then this part goes all the way back to his ear. I'm gonna go ahead and give him his ear back there. And then let's go ahead and get rid of some guidelines. Let's go ahead and shade in some spots because that'll make everything a little bit better. So we're going to shade underneath his chin and then the shading goes around his face up into his cheek just a little bit and then it's shaded all around. Dash has a very large forehead. He just has a very big head in general. So we're going to go ahead and we'll define that forehead, go up, round this down and then back into his ear, and that will give him his hairline. So he's very similar to his dad, very irregular looking kind of head, but we wanna go ahead and include these bits and pieces. For his hair, the middle part of his hair is just going to start back here and it's going to go back. So we're going to go ahead and just build up off of that. And his hair is actually going to start going down here and then here. Very similar hairline to his dad's. Now we have a big old spot that's going all the way back this way. And then his hair will essentially go right back to here. So we want to divide that up just a little bit more. And then we have a little bit of his hairline going back here as well. So I'm going to bring down this line right here, kind of connecting to here, and bring down his neck a little bit more. So this line should kind of match up with that chin line, just to give it a little bit more of a definition. He's looking over his shoulder at us. What I'd like to do next is go ahead and bring down his collar to his suit and then make his shoulder more definite. Bring down this shoulder, bring it in, and I'm gonna jump over here. This is going to connect down and into here. Now let's define this side, give him a little bit more muscle on this side of his arm. Define this upward, bring it down into his arm. Let's start with this hand over here. So all we see really is that fist. So that fist is gonna curl up, bring in out this way, go down, make more of a fist. So now that we have more of a fist, we can have that indention that his finger is curled inwards. Bring down this part of his glove. Let's jump over to this arm and define this glove a little bit more. So this is going upwards to a point a little bit more on his glove. And this is the inside of a fist, so we're going to get 
all the fingers shown. One, two, three, four fingers. And one thumb tucked underneath the fingers. Around these. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. Around these. And that thumb is tucked inside the fist. And right here at the middle, we're going to go ahead and bring down that part of his suit. It goes down. So the part of the underwear part of his suit. And then we're going to go ahead and round down the part of that underwear. Round that back up. And then we do not see the other side. So we can go ahead and get rid of a couple guidelines define his boot a little bit more. So one boot's going to cut off right here, but we still have the crease to his leg right there. Let's define this boot a little bit more. So we're going to curve this down, bring down the toe, curve it up. And then this will all be black. So this is on the other side. So let's go ahead and shade this. Since we are seeing the other, this is on this is the leg that's on the other side, so we need to shade this. And overall, he is all shaded up this side of his body. And across his arm and on the back side of it. But this is shaded the darkest because we c it is on the other side and we can't see it attaching to his body that well. <laughs> After that, let's go ahead and define this leg a little bit more. We're going to bring this in, give him more of a calf, a calf, and then we're going to go ahead and bring down the top of the boot. Bring this down. Curve in that foot like we did on the other side. Bring more of a toe tip down. Up. And this will be shaded down below here. Shade this, bring this down. And there we go. Alrighty, there you guys go. There is how to draw Dash from Disney Pixar's The Incredibles. I hope you all go see The Incredibles this weekend. Even though it's being released this weekend, I know I'll be seeing it probably next week because I got some weekend plans. But I'll probably be seeing it next week in the middle of the week just to go ahead and catch that so I can watch it because I've been so excited for it. Because I've been waiting, what, 17 years for my life? I don't know. <laughs> I think I've been waiting 17 years to see what happens after that last clip of the movie. But if you haven't seen The Incredibles already, it's on Netflix, I'm just helping you out. <laughs> but I hope you all go and see it, and let's go ahead and draw Jack-Jack next week and just keep going until we get to Frozone or Edna. It's up to you guys who you wanna draw after Jack-Jack, but I wanted to get all The Incredibles in. I hope you all have a most wonderful weekend, and I will see you all later. Bye!